Well, welcome to day 50. I'm glad you're along on this journey with me again. This first portion of our journey is we've explored together and grown together in our understanding of, of what it means to follow the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and King and Lord and friend. To, today, I want to close this section of, of our study together, 50 days, with, with a simple message from the Lord Jesus. And the real question is, what next? Let's hear what he has to say. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear his deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. As you mature and grow in, in, in your faith and faithfulness and your understanding of God's love for you, take those words with you, Th those words of God's power, everything that, that you grow in, every way that you mature. It's all God acting in and through you. And pray with me that he continues to strengthen you, that your, your light might shine brighter and brighter into a world that lives in darkness, and that you might be his bold testimony of what happens when a sinner like you and me comes into the grace of God and lives under the Lordship of Christ. Will you pray with me? Lord God, we thank you for the journey, some days harder than others, Sometimes we may have fallen behind, not in the, in the devotions, but rather fallen behind in your vision for us and fallen behind in our, our maturity and in our following you as Lord and King. We pray that, that you, O oh Lord, might encourage us and strengthen us. Send your Holy Spirit on us that every day in every way we might grow more and more like you full measure of the stature of, of the fullness of Christ. That's what we want to be, just like Jesus. And that happens as your power comes to each one of us. And so we pray that, that you strengthen us and, and guard us and keep us. Let your holy angels have charge over, over us that the wicked foe have no power over us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, while these 50 days are at a close, our time together isn't at a close. We'll be joining together occasionally, a couple of times a week, I pray, as we grow together in faith and understanding, and, and as we explore together God's holy word and live by his Holy Spirit. Until then, may God's peace be with you and his grace be strong in you.